I am Sergei Strelka, captain of the Platinum Knights, defenders of the glory of the Roland's Empire. In cooperating to ensure the Empire's peace, you prove your gratitude as much as your loyalty. Is he always like this, or are his boxers just chafing him? Here you go, our Merchant Guild Pass. We've come to Lastendale on business, specifically the collection of a bill. The Sparrow Feathers are quite impressive. We've got a strict deadline, no time to waste. The place of business is the liquor establishment on the main road. Ah, yes, Boris's Canteen. That place certainly gets an awful lot of business. And we deeply appreciate being a part of it. Is there anything else? No. My gratitude for cooperating with our inspection. Thanks for all your hard work. Next, you there. Quite some garb you're wearing. Are you this young woman's guard? Oh, uh, a girl doesn't dare travel alone. Then why does he carry an ornamental sword? He knew that Saray's sword was ornamental? He's seeing right through us. He's less of an idiot than he looks. Wait, there are people watching. <sighs> well, you know, we have our reasons. I'm asking your guard here. Crap. Repeat after me. Please forgive my unquestionably suspicious appearance. The truth is, I am the son of a provincial lord. Lord! Hmm? Rose. That's right! My husband here is nobility! What? You're married? Never had I lifted anything heavier than a fork in my life, yet by chance did I fall in love with a traveling merchant. In the throes of passion, I threw my money and land away to be with her just over a year ago. You... you did? Even my wife didn't know the full truth. The cruelties of the outside world taught me how feeble I truly am. But even so, I knew a husband has a duty to protect his wife. So I wear an ornamental sword at my side as a hollow pretense of strength. Laugh at the weak will of a sad, broken man. Ah! Sorry. You're doing your best. It's cool. Oh, my dearest! Your sweet words are super to my tired limbs. Sow the seeds of love and they will bloom no matter how arid the terrain. Live and be strong. Next! I don't know how that worked, but I think we made it. Thanks, guys. More like we just lucked into the perfect audience. A win's a win. Turns out it's handy to have an invisible woman on your side, isn't it? I suppose. I'm sorry I told you to be quiet. So it's all right if we communicate directly inside your... No. It's creepy and obscene. Obscene? I'm not obscene. Come on, let it go, Lila. All right, then. I assume that we're on our way to Pendrago now? Well, uh... But, Miklio, this town looks all kinds of exciting. Well, it does, so... We really ought to poke around at least a little. Did I nail it? Guilty as charged. Sounds fun. I'm game. Bunch of children. That's why we get along so well. And someday we all will. You mean Seraphim and humans? Jimmy,我,ローランス帝国,白王騎士団。団長,セルゲイストレーカである。<laughs> <laughs> 帝国の安寧に資する剣門への諸君の協力に中心より斜陽を表すものである何こいつ堅苦しい病
厚苦しい病はい招待ギルド発行の通行証ここに来た目的は手形の回収ね赤麗の羽か手際がいいな期限が迫ってるから気が気じゃなくて取引先は大通りにある酒屋のおおボリス・シローかあそこは手広く商いをしているようだなうちもいろいろお世話になってます他には何かない検問への協力痛みいるお疲れ様です次はそちらの男だ妙な乱りだが護衛かうっと女の一人旅は物騒なんでなぜ護衛が儀礼券を下げているのだスレイの剣が儀礼券って重心の差を見切ったのかただのバカじゃなさそうだなまたあれ<笑>えっともちろん理由があってそちらの男に聞いているいわば私の言う通りにご不審はごもっとも実は私はとある地方領主の御曹司なのだなのですんロゼそうお坊ちゃんなんですうちの亭主えそんな設定フォークより重いものを持ったことがない箱入り息子がひょんなことから旅商人と恋に落ち燃え上がる情熱のままに全てを捨て駆け落ちしたのが1年前へえー、そうだったんだ妻にも秘密のこの事実世間に出て無力な若造と思い知りましたがそれでも妻を守るのが夫の務めと思い詰め見せかけの儀礼券を下げて周囲に強がって見せているのですしい男の意地とお笑いくださいごめん結構頑張ってるよドンマイおお妻よその一言で俺は生きていけるだろう愛という名のためさえあればどんなあれのにも花は咲くだ強く生きるのだぞスリーよくわからないけど通れちゃったねみんなのおかげだ相手が良かったとしか言いようがないけど結果オーライだね案外お役に立ちますでしょ見えないというのもそうだね喋んなーなんて言ってごめんもう頭の中で話してもそれは別怖いしキモいキモいはひどいですわ焦らず行こうよライガーさてスレ僕らは焦ってペンドラゴへ向かうのかなえー、っとこの町はいろいろ面白そうだろそうだからせっかくだし探検していこうと言いたい超言いたいなんか面白そう坊やばっかりだから気が合うんですよきっと私たちとも天族と人間が